Now that we have a basic understanding how media queries work, I'd like to focus in on this smallest section that sort of looks blank here, basically. It's everything below this line. And you can see here right now, what's controlling it are the global uh, styles, all the styles in the global list. But I actually want to focus in on it, so I'm going to create a new media query for that section. And I'm just going to come up here and click plus and I'll go up to minimum width and I'll say zero for the minimum width. I'm going to add a second property here and it'll be maximum width, max width. And I'll say just one below this size so that would be 767 pixels. And I'll hit my tab key and click OK to enter that. So that comes in color coded as an aqua color here. And if I click on it, we can see what happens when we're inside of that media query. So this one actually spans from a beginning point and an end point, the minimum width and the maximum width. And this way, we actually don't have to go in and change any of the global features if we want to make a change in this smaller area. So I'm just going to do a little layout change here. We're going to play with the layout. Basically, I want to stack these two things instead of having them in columns and they are mostly dictated by two class styles. So I'm going to go in here to global and it's the side left and I'll right click on there and duplicate into media query and I'll say minimum width maximum width again it's cut off from the capture software but it's the minimum maximum setting and if I go in there I can see that and I will change that in a minute but first I'm going to grab the other one called section right which controls this section right here and we'll right click on that and duplicate into media query minimum width maximum width okay and if I look in here now I can see both of those I also want to make this image in the header shrink proportionally as the browser window gets smaller and smaller so I'm going to bring in a new a new selector in there and I'll go in and create that now. So I'll select that and then I'll select image and I'll click on the selector here. And what I want is header image. I'll get rid of body. I don't need to be that specific. Hit my enter key. So any image that's inside of the header will have the following properties. And on width, I'm just going to bring that to a percentage. And I'll say maybe 50%, 60%. And we'll try 60%, okay, and just hit my return key there. And that way, when I shrink it, it will reduce in size. Now I'm going to affect the height as well. And you can click on that twice to come back. So we'll say height also 60%. And I'll just type that in, 60%. 60%, enter. Okay, so now to go proportionally, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to click on that bar once, then twice again. And what I want to do is I want to stack this left column on the top and this one underneath. So really, I just have to push them out so that the percentages exceed the 100%, but I will remove the float as well. So let's go into the side left here. Actually, I'll go into the section right first, and we'll just make the percentage. Uh, let's see. I'll just scroll down so you can see it. I'll make it about 90%. There we go. And you can see how that's taken up most of the width. And I guess while I'm in here, I will remove the float because it's no longer needed. So I'm just going to hit none on float. Now, this thing is overlapping, so I will have to remove the float on that as well. So I'll go to a side left, and I guess I'll remove the float to start with. And that way they now again overlap because they're on the page level. And I'll make that wider as well. And I'll also bring that to 90%. Okay, so that's how we can actually change layouts from breakpoint to breakpoint, otherwise known as the media queries here. So if I go here, it's still in two columns. 
but if I go down here, it's actually stacked up in one single column. And the other thing here was the image size. If I sh start to shrink that, you will see that shrink. So I'm just going to preview this in browser, but first I'll save all. Save all, because all that information actually goes into the style sheet. Let me click on that now and show you. Go to my code view here. If I go to the bottom here, you can see the me media queries right here. And the ones that we just did were down here. The at media, minimum width 0, maximum width 767. And those are the classes that are inside of there. And this is the compound selector for the image inside of the header tag. All right, so I'm going to go back to source code and split view. And let's just try to see this in the preview Google Chrome. OK, it's some reason this happens sometimes, but I do have it here. I just previewed it a minute ago. And you can see here when I shrink, and you can see that logo at the top is also shrinking when it's in the smaller size. And it actually pops a bit here. And then it stays the same size. But you can see the color changing in the right column. And also the size of the check text changes. And those are from the last assignment. And in this assignment, we changed the layout. So that's just a little bit more working with media queries and affecting the layouts inside of Adobe Dreamweaver.